The Path to the Fuck Side, written by Sapphic Thoughts. The swamp muck bubbled under Chewbacca's feet, making thick, sucking noises as he struggled to breathe the humid air. The Dagobin atmosphere wasn't built for accommodating Wookiees. He knew that much, but he didn't have much of an option. Han forced them to the ground. The Millennium forced the Millennium Falcon to the ground after Engine failure. And until further noticed, the two of them were trapped on Dagobah. Chewie had been regulated to food duty, scouring the marshes for civilization. But so far, the only thing for miles around seemed to be mud, mist, and the occasional swamp slug. More worrying than the lack of food was that Chewie was starting to panic. He didn't fear much, and he knew Han could keep himself safe. But the closing mist and the chittering of the dragon snakes made him more anxious than he had been since his first encounter with the Death Star. He could feel the sweat running down his dripping onto the marshy ground. Kashyyyk might have also been a jungle slash swamp planet, but Kashyyyk gave off an entirely different vibe from this dark-sided, dark swampy area. Worse than his discomfort, though, was the fear that he was being watched. He could feel a pair of eyes boring into him, glimpsed several flashes of movement, yet when he turned, nothing was there. Eventually, after another mile of walking, Chewie's fears began to segue into annoyance, segue into annoyance. He stopped dead in his tracks, looked around, and loud a bellow that shook the trees around him. Convinced that whatever was following had been scared off, he turned, but startled at the feeling of a clawed finger tapping his knee. Mmm! A Wookiee on Dagobah! Fantast- rare, fantastically! Chewie started, startled, scrambling back. He blinked a few times, staring at the shriveled green body before him. Mmm! Surprised you are, everyone! Chewbacca, it has been a long time, has it? Chewbacca furred his eyebrows, letting out a confused grunt. His old war compatriots squinted up at him with those deep, knowing eyes that had unsettled the Wookiee soldiers on Kashyyyk. Exile they have been to this planet. Suicide it would be not to flee the Emperor. The cities. Come now. Food there is at my camp. Yoda didn't mince words. Chukuaka gave him that. On the trek northwards to the hut, Chewie tried with grunts and groans to explain the situation to his former commander, but Yoda didn't seem to care about his current predicament. <laughs> Master tottered into a small cave filled with bowls and mats as Chewbacca explained. His eyes narrowed thoughtfully. <clears throat> My camp this is. Meat you must eat for energy. Chewbacca wondered what he would need energy for, but decided not to question Yoda further. The master spooned a generous heaping of thick stew into his bowl handed it to Baka and snorted. <clears throat> Forgotten I had how much Wookiees eat. The two of them sat side by side, Chewbacca eating ravenously and sending food flying onto the ground in fervor. Yoda watching him, Chewbacca finally slumped back, his hunger sated. 
and drifting into a peaceful nap. <clears throat> Chewie felt the pressure on his chest before he woke. When he opened his eyes, he was startled. Yoda was perched on his check chest, facing surprisingly close to him. Fate, it must be that you are here. I've been watching you, I have, since you got to the planet. You have aged well, Chewbacca. Chewie's bodies realized what was happening embarrassingly quickly before his mind did. The warmth of another, something he hadn't felt in almost 30 years, triggered an intensely physical reaction as Yoda's hand stroked his face. Missed you, have I? Remember when we met in the tent every night, do you? Remember it, I do I. Every night since. The master's other hand moved down slowly, gently groping Chewbacca somewhere he hadn't touched in a very long time. Chewie couldn't help but lean up to meet the master's lips with his own, letting out a tiny grunt at the surprising heat of the master of Grandmaster Yoda's mouth as he began to grow more and more erect, turned on by the shapely green Yoda, slowly beginning to release his member from its furry sheath. Mmm! Your cock is big, I see. Hard as a rock you are. The old green creature grinned, lifting up his robes so that Chewbacca could have access to his cloaca. Chewbacca could feel it moistening as he slid his finger into it. Surprised at how familiar the motion felt, knowing that Yoda could take much more than his physical stature suggested. The thought made him groan, but he groaned even louder when he felt the sensation of something invisible wrap around his staff. Sucking mouth trick it is! Enjoy it, you must! Chewbacca could only moan ascent as he rocked deeper into the force mouth and gasped. Yoda took the opportunity to move up onto Chewbacca's face, allowing the Wookiee to pleasure Yoda with his tongue. Chewbacca could only respond to this with more groans as the invisible mouth seemed to redouble its efforts. And he did the same as he began to rock his mouth against Yoda's anal cavern. Changed? Your amazing tongue has not. Yoda moaned loudly as Chewbacca laved it over its sensitive spot, just trying to reach Yoda's prostate with his long, thick tongue. And after a few minutes of this, Yoda tightened his grip on Chewie's fur as he came hard. Chewie remembered the sensation of Yoda's orgasm. But he wasn't prepared for the tightening sensation of the invisible force blow job. He felt his own orgasm building pressure in the pit of his stomach, aching with need, and he was just about to explode when the mouth's pleasure vanished. Chewie's loud groan of disappointment was met with a smirk from Yoda. Come you may not, edge you I must, fuck me first you will. And with that, Yoda lowered himself onto Chewie's furry cock, somehow manipulating space so that he was able to take the full length and girth of Chewie. Chewie wasn't so interested in the science of, all, of it all, especially when the master was pulsing against him with just as much need as he was feeling when Yoda began to move. Chewie forgot about going slow. His hands flew to his lover's hips, fucking him relentlessly, abandoned until both of them were beginning to sweat and moan in desperation. All the while, Chewie could feel the pressure of the force manipulating his mind and stimulating long, dead places, making his hips snap up at an unnatural speed and his sense of euphoria growing, even as his orgasm was being suppressed. Finally, Yoda released Chewie's mind, whispering a word that sent the Wookiee over the edge. Come, you must. Chewie filled his old commander with his fluids, pushing Yoda over the edge as well. They both collapsed, Yoda allowing Chewie to remain inside him as they lay in a mess of sweat and lust. Finally, 
Yoda sat up and smiled, putting his cloak back on. Mmm, <clears throat> Chewbacca. Fuck good, you still do. Hopefully Han not find us in this predicament. He must not. Chewie then realized that he would have to explain what happened to Han. But at the very least, Chewie was able to appease his sexual desire. And hopefully Yoda will give food to provide to Han Solo. The end. And may the force be with you.